right over there is a lodge. Just had an encounter with a beaver on this beautiful creek. It's really deep. As a matter of fact, you can see I actually went in over my boots just to see if I could set traps today, but I'm gonna have to come back with, I mean, with hip waders or something. It's deep right over there. But yeah, I'm switching gears, moving from canines, doing my water trap line this month, and I wanna get some beaver, and uh, yeah, maybe a few muskrats before the season is out, but really good spot here, really promising. Uh, I just can't, I can't state enough how disappointing it is to be here with the traps and I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and reset but at least we're getting a lay of the land and uh, we'll definitely get them. All right so that clip was from a week ago now. Um, looking back at some of the footage at the time I was really excited. I had 330s on me so I was gonna get in there and just get it done. Um, but the more I thought about it the more time I had to think about it it was just way too deep to set 330. So what what we're gonna do is change tactics a little bit. We're gonna snare this sucker. Um, at looking at the, the footage of the beaver actually swimming through the area, he hugged that shoreline, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk in, we're gonna set snares along that shoreline, put a little lure on it. I'm gonna use a lure that I've had really good success with around here, and uh, see if we can get it done. See if we can get a beaver catch and cook in the books, and have a little bit of fun maybe a little bit of education to go along with the fun. We'll see, I don't know. Uh, let's get out there and let's get it done. fencing he's gonna come through get caught and I've got some lure smeared on the side of that tree still not too far from the lodge but yeah I think it's gonna work so it's the following day um, 
hopefully we have something in these snares. You just never know. Um, it's so weird because, it, like I said, it's been a while since I've snared. You know, I've been using uh, 330s for the most part when I can. Um, but snares seem like the most improbable way to catch something just because of how simplistic it is. But they do work. If you do it right, they do work. So, fingers crossed. Um, I really do hope we have something this morning. I only put five sets out. I didn't want to overdo it. But I pretty much gang set uh, a straight run of that creek. So, we're about to find out. It was, it was a relatively sleepless night. Uh, had a few beers last night. Really strong IPA. Uh, some of you may know how that goes. <clears throat> but I've been up since like 4.30 basically. I'm just excited. It's like Christmas. That's why I love trapping. That's what I tell everybody. Um, I love trapping because it's like Christmas. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, we're about to be arriving there shortly. Stick with me. Just got to the first set. And it looks like... We are empty, so nothing on that one, but we're going to keep trekking and hopefully we got something. I mean, that's trapping. You know, if we don't get anything, that's how trapping works. Either way, it's a gorgeous day. You can actually smell spring in the air. Um... The, the buds on the trees, the birds are singing their springtime songs. It's coming. I can't wait. Alright guys, second set is empty. Um, definitely a bummer. But you can see there, second set, totally empty. Uh, we're just going to keep moving. We may have snared a beaver, guys. He's sitting right here. Right on the creek. Yep, we got him. We got him. That was the caster mound set. Awesome. Man. Got him behind the shoulders. That's a good catch. Yes. He is not happy. All right, you guys, we're going to get this guy taken care of. Gonna wait for a good shot here.
animals up there. Woods to your table. Well, I don't actually have a table. I have to do that next time. I've just been shaking this bad boy periodically. And <clears throat> it's actually pretty hot. Pretty warm. Give it a go. Ooh. Looking good. Bottoms up. so good you know man fantastic sitting on the creek eating beaver I do with it. Always bring my wooden spoon. Just to be on the safe side. I tell you, beaver tastes just like beef. Really does taste like a grass fed beef. Don't get much fresher than that. Now I just need to string up my hammock and take a nap. <laughs> mm. A fun day. Straight up bum. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm in a, like a hobo camp. <clears throat> you know, my wife, she's always concerned because I like the, uh, I love solitude and adventure. I think she's always afraid I'm going to just become a bum and travel the railways and do this kind of shit. <laughs> She's probably right. <laughs> uh, it's, this, is, this is living. This is living. This is great. I'm just loving life right now. Man, this is nice. Uh, it's just beautiful. And you know, another cool thing about this creek is I've actually caught little fish in here. Um, like little sunfish. And um, I'll have to do a catch and cook with those. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, see? It's good. It's good food. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Don't you wish you were here? freedom and no I'm not drinking or anything <laughs> it's just fun Sugar. So let's talk a little bit about our success today um, and how this all started. You know, when I first came out here, like I said, I brought 330s. I wasn't prepared. I was super excited because I saw a beaver swim right by me. Um, and, you know, wasn't really thinking it through. Yeah, I wanted to set traps so bad that I actually got in the water above my boots to try to do it. And it was just dumb. I mean, it was cold. It's kind of cool to say I did it, but just, you know, that excitement gets to you. So I went home and uh, I thought about what made the most sense. How was I going to have the most success here uh, with the least amount of work and the least amount of money spent? Because I did not want to buy chest waders if I didn't have to. I mean, that's easily a hundred bucks, even for some cheap ones, pretty much. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, so, snares, you know, they're cheap. It made sense. I could set them right along the bank and it worked. Um, now, hot hands for rice, different story. It, I'll say it did okay, but you really gotta wait for it to heat up. Um, you know, at least anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes for those bad boys to get hot enough to uh, get the heat through to that rice. But it was halfway decent. I mean, if I had to do it again, I certainly would. Uh, you know, you should get out there and try it and see if it works for you. It was just a harebrained idea I had one day and figured I'd give it a shot. But, um, you know, that's what this, this is all about. It's giving your ideas a shot. That's what life's all about. You know, not to get too philosophical here. It's just been a really enjoyable day um, and it's been a lot of fun to bring this content to the forefront and be able to produce it for you guys. It's a blast for me. I actually enjoy editing. Um, 
I mean, I might suck at it, but I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy getting out here doing this. And uh, got a lot more gun talk to have. Got a lot more trapping talk to have. Uh, techniques to share. And uh, hopefully a lot more catch and cooks to do. Because I've been doing this stuff for years, man. And uh, to see guys on YouTube doing it, having fun with it, and kind of gaining a following is really neat to watch. Um, so, yeah, there's more shenanigans to be had and a lot more, a lot more fun. I think we need more fun. It's been a hard two years. And I also do not want to get into all that, but I really appreciate you stopping by, checking out my channel. If you could do me a favor and just like and subscribe, it'll keep me motivated, keep me going. And keep me out here producing this kind of content for you guys. I really appreciate the view. And uh, I look forward to the next one. Oh, Black Mountain River, where my conscience died. Oh, Black Mountain River, wash away my pride. Black Mountain